Hello students, it's Shana, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and our phrasal verb of the day is put off. Before I teach you this phrasal verb, I wanted to let you know that if you're interested in taking one of my online courses or getting one of my ebooks, you can take some free sample lessons. Just click on the link in this video or in the video description, and you can take free samples from all my courses and ebooks so that you can see which one might be best for your needs. Or if you want to get them all, you can get the complete program and get a discount on that. All right, let's learn about put off. I have three possible definitions on the board, and I want you to post a comment and tell me whether you think this phrasal verb means A, not understand, B, forget about, or C, delay, okay? Let me describe a situation in which we would use the phrasal verb put off. Back when I was a student, a high school student and my brother was in middle school, we would have homework assignments and sometimes projects or papers that were larger. So we'd have a few weeks or even a few months to finish them. But sometimes we would put them off. And my mother, uh, not wanting us to uh, put them off, would remind us about the assignments. Hey, have you started this assignment yet? hey, you should really work on your project, but we would keep putting them off. And sometimes we would put off the work so much that on the day before the assignment or project was due, we would have to stay up very late in order to get everything done. Based on this example, what does it mean to put something off? A, B, or C? Post a comment with your guess and I'll tell you the correct answer in just a moment. Put off means C, delay. So in the example I described uh, of putting off working on a homework assignment or a project, that meant I was delaying it. I was saying, oh, I'll start tomorrow. Oh, I'll start next week. I still have plenty of time. So to put something off, it doesn't mean you forget about it. You know about it. But because it's um, difficult or unpleasant or inconvenient or you just don't feel like doing the work, uh, you delay it. Okay, so that's how you use the phrasal verb put off, and I'd love to see you use this in your own English. So post a comment and write a sentence. Tell me about something you tend to put off, or maybe there's something you're putting off right now. Try to use this phrasal verb in your own sentence, and I look forward to reading them. Don't put it off. Write a comment now so that you won't forget this phrasal verb. And again, if you'd like to see free samples of all my courses and ebooks, click on the link in the video uh, and you can check those out. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next daily phrasal verb lesson. Bye bye!